you air. Will fructose activate the Randall cycle in the same way as glucose since being handled by the liver? Yes, yes, it can. It, it definitely can. It depends on physical activity. It depends on the amount. It depends on a lot of things. Um, even if you don't engage the Randall cycle, fructose is treated like alcohol. It will basically derange and cause inflammation and other problems. It also glycates. Depending on its resident time, this is the important thing. So if it can glycate up to six or seven, uh, sorry, seven times um, that of glucose, but if it if you're engaging the Randall cycle, it can it can potentially go up to ten times. So research has shown different levels of glycation, but when I looked at the research, it um, it seemed that depending on what the mixed diet, what the the macros were of the diet, um, sort of indicated that it was some level of Randall cycle activation that meant the clearance out of the system was slower, so it had more time as a resident time to glycate, to cause glycation. So it is Randall cycle dependent glycation that happens with fructose. It's a bit of a nuanced thing that most people haven't looked at to understand. And on the other hand, that's why it can vary while we're getting varied results in research. That's the problem. Most people don't let's say they don't use their brain to think in a nuanced way. They just basically will sit there and argue, oh, this research is wrong or that research. No, look at the actual composition of the food that was being fed, and that will tell you what sort of activation of Randall cycle, especially when you look at the body composition of the people. So you can actually, you know, height, because they do provide you like height, BMI, different things like that. And then you look at that and say, okay, what would that body require and what are they giving them? And then you say, well, they're not giving them sufficient or they're giving them far more excess or under or just um, at, at the normal intake for normal, um, for that for, the, for their sort of level. So they don't increase less, they don't have too much or too little energy in terms of that. So in that way, they are in this low grade non-activation. Obviously, they're going to have better clearance, which means you'll only get seven times the glycation. And other dietary approaches where they've added a bit more you could say the fuel element they've had actually had the, the standard and then add that on top which sort of magnifies it not only increases the energy component but it also magnifies as a consequence the randall cycle activation type thing so then these things are say having high resident time they can glycate for longer so that's where the difference is why the studies are inconsistent in terms between seven and ten in what the le level of glycation factors but if you do a bit of research you'll actually understand why this is happening when you take into consideration the randall cycle which these people don't do because they don't understand it um so it depends on so if i was to, just to have pure fructose for the day no it would not engage the randall cycle and I would only glycate seven times. But if I had it with animal fats and other things, yes, I would engage the Randall cycle, especially if I got into excess levels. So it always nuanced in that regard.